I've currently got command line open and in the left tab, I'm working on my local computer. You can see I'm currently in my desktop. And in the right tab, I'm currently SSH'd into a remote server. And what I wanna demonstrate is how I can copy files from the server over to my computer. Now, obviously we're working in command line, so we're gonna be doing this via commands. We're not gonna be dragging and dropping files. Uh, specifically, we're going to use a command called SCP, which is short for secure copy. To demonstrate this on my remote server, you can see I'm in a directory called var example. And within there, I have a couple text files I can move over. So starting with test1.txt, the way I'm going to get this on my desktop is I'm going to issue the secure copy command. And then I need to indicate the username and the host name that I want to get these files from. So in my example, the username I'm going to connect to as is root. And then the host name, I'm going to use the IP address of my server. I'm going to follow that with a colon, and then I'm going to indicate the path of the file that I want to copy. So in my case, that's going to be var example test1.txt. I'll follow that with a space, and then I'll write the path of where I want this file to end up on my computer. And if I just wanted to end up in the directory that I'm currently in, I could just use the period. That indicates your current directory. Uh, if there's some other location on my computer, I can indicate the full path there. So for example, let's say I wanted to put this in documents and let's say I had a directory in there called example, I could indicate that full path. Uh, for this example, because I am aiming for the desktop and I'm currently in the desktop, I'll just use that uh, period shortcut. And let me go ahead and just stretch this pane out so we can see that full command. So I'll hit enter to run the command and we can see that that was successful. Now note, it didn't ask me for a password for the remote server or anything like that. And that's because I have SSH keys set up to authenticate my computer with this remote server. Uh, if you don't have this set up, you might see a prompt to enter a password, at which point you would want to do that. Uh, or if you want to set up SSH keys, I do have a separate guide on that. You can find a link in the description. Now, just to confirm that everything worked as expected, let's take a look at the contents of our desktop and we should see the test1.txt file. And if we want, we can open it up and make sure that it has the contents that we're expecting. Building on this example, let's say instead of moving individual files, I wanted to move an entire directory. In order to do this, we'll again use the secure copy command, but this time we're gonna add a R flag, which is short for recursive. This is gonna make it so it's gonna copy uh, a directory that we're gonna indicate as well as any of the contents within that directory. Once again, we'll specify the user and the server address we wanna to connect to, follow that with a colon, and then indicate the source directory we wanna copy. So I will copy that entire example directory from my remote server. And for my destination, uh, just for a bit of variety, rather than just copying it into my current directory, let's put it somewhere else on my computer. I'm gonna put it in a files directory that I have within my home directory. And here the home directory uh, is just represented by the shortcut of the tilde forward slash. So let's run that. You can see a list of all the files that it copied and let's move into that files directory. Look at our contents. There's our example directory that was copied. And then if we go into that and look at our contents, there's our two test files. So hopefully those brief examples helped you out. If you have any further questions on how to use the secure copy command, feel free to leave a comment below.